Hi, welcome to Detail the World. Today's video is going to be a little something different. Hi, so welcome back to Detail the World. If this is your first time here, my name is Matt, and in today's video. God damn it! Hi, welcome back to Detail the World. If this is your first time here, my name is Matt, and in today's video, we're going to be taking basically a quick look around the garage and give it some sort of tidy up. Before I crack on I'd just like to say if you're not subscribed to this channel already then please do consider subscribing, it really does help us out and it doesn't cost you anything. Um, and then the next thing is really the condition of the garage, um, as you'll see in a moment and you may have seen in the backgrounds of previous videos, it's not the best looking. Um, admittedly it's been kind of neglected but not really through to my fault, it's always been in a horrendous condition. Uh, we got this place about five years ago. Uh, the garage was just like most people, it was just a dumping ground um, by the previous owners. So when we got it about five years ago, those who have sort of known me on the forums for some years, I used to have a Mark III B for Cooper. That basically lived in here um, for all of the five years, up until about six months ago when I got rid of it. Um, so yeah, for the first five years of being here, there was a car right here where we are now, taking up all the space, managed to get a lawn mower down the side, and then the existing shelves are just horrendous, you can see that one there, it's just awful. Um, and I kind of just dumped some of the cleaning gear on there, I've got boxes with cleaning stuff in, basically everything's still in boxes, how it was when I lived at the parents really. Um, and then there's like an old kitchen worktop type thing at the back, um, and yeah it's just collected. I've, um, so yeah, today Seeing as it's horrendous weather outside, I'm going to spend today just clearing it out, getting rid of some more junk now the Cooper has gone, um, and just ready basically to put up some new shelving, maybe get a lick of paint. I mean, we are planning on replacing the garage, um, but it may not be for another year or so yet. So, I've got to make do with what I've got and try and make it look a bit more presentable. Um, so, yeah, we'll crack on. So, as I say, it's not the best of garages, it's actually rather embarrassing to be fair, particularly for someone who's detailing. Um, these shelves are already here, basically everything was already here apart from that pink rack there, uh, full of cloths and towels. But you've got like, these are the coloured snow foams, got no screw caps, paint, they'll be getting thrown, bit of Danish oil, that'll come in handy later. This, why, why have I got that? That's probably 10 years old. Unmarked bottles, old paint brushes, why? Old coil packs why this this is where I tried sealing the roof some years ago pool balls why is there three sets of pool balls there again this was this unit was left by them um, there's sort of screen washing tubs of oil on there screen wash comes in handy obviously but there's like so many old tubs of oil I just don't need under that is I think a chair from a couple of videos back I was green screening I'm trying to green screen in the garage but it's not the ideal location. So there's a chair under there because part of the roof somewhere leaks. Uh, I don't think it leaks over there, but just in case. Lawn mower down there, and then there's, I've got boxes of products that I've got products in that I've not used. Um, I found a gem the other day, if I can find it again. This. So I ordered that two and a half years ago uh, when I got the Leon. Used it on the Leon, a brand new car, new detail, um, but it still had high iron fallout on it. And then I come across it again sort of like two weeks ago when I was cleaning the neighbour's car. Um, I think in some of these boxes down there, there's a, well, we'll find out. <laughs> but I know there's a wash mitt in one of them, which we'll get to shortly, but yeah, we'll uh, start clearing this out. I got towels and whatnot from the show days. So that box is full of stuff that, uh, yeah, you to take shows and whatnot. Box of triggers, all various products. Um, these clear ones, they were just labelled up with my own labels on. Polishing box, compounds, and whatnot. Accessory boxes, uh, sort of brushes, dirty cloths. Polishing box full of pads, as you can see. Right, so these three boxes, these are just, I think they've got new stuff in one of them. Ah, nothing in that one, that's empty. Right, so another example, unused mag fibre in a bag, sealed. 
unused drying towel there as well. <laughs> oh man, I remember buying these. Um, an unused rubbish boys, it's like a split applicator pad. I don't know if anyone remembers those. I didn't even realise they had that, and I thought I needed new applicator pads. <laughs> That's got some muck on it. That's been used once or twice. The Dodo Juice Supernatural drying towel. This, I remember this, the old Wookie's fist. That has been used. I bought that. Um, oh, and I think these are about 25, 30 pounds or something. I've had that some years now. Um, yeah. <laughs> Well, just look at it. Let me have I got a regular wash mitt somewhere. I mean, just look at the size of that compared to, you know, that's your regular kind of noodle mitt. I use that on my wheels, by the way. Huge! Um, there was a lot of, you know, aftercare. You had to dry it with a hairdryer. It was like, yeah. Anyway, um, I bought that and I said, you know, I just would only use it on like my first ever supercar. Um, and I think I did actually use it on my friend's Ferrari 360. Um, then it got left for a few years, used it on an Aston Martin DB9 about four years ago. They're probably the only two occasions that's been used. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll keep on with that one. Dodo Juice Fantastic for, I didn't even know I had that. Built Hamburg Auto Clay, the first ever clay bar I got. Ooh, something's happened to that. I've used a bit and then not used the rest. That is the first ever clay art. That must be like 10 years old. The other applicator part of this poor boy split I've used one. So we'll leave that and we'll sort that out another time. We've got another box here, let's see what's in this one. <laughs> oh mate, that Dodo Juice Mellow Yellow Refill. If I remember rightly, I bought that at Edition 38 and the last time I went there was 2009, maybe 10. I think 2009 was probably the last one I went to, so I could have possibly bought it in 2008. So that is about 10 years old, never ever use that. I suppose I'll make it for another video, the products go off, but well, that looks alright. What else is in here? Auto Glim Clean Wheels, Super Resin Polish, Aqua Wax. Put that to one side. So here we have one crash helmet. Uh, I found that the other day, or this whole box has barely been used. Uh, you can tell I use a green one a fair amount. These two, barely used, along with the sporting pads. Blue pad, unused. Green's been used. Yellow's been used by the looks of that. Unused bag of cloths from Costco, good for working with, you know, work cloths, general use. That can be thrown. Old seat cover from the Cooper. A tent, probably the last use, as I said, back at edition 38. I don't think I'm gonna need a tent anymore. So in these drawers, I know these drawers are basically their brushes in there. Uh, what we got in this one. Another place for a car, spare bulbs. Looks like another towel in there as well. More cloths. Um, so Dodo Juice Supernatural. And this will be a tub of Zymol. So there is a bit of sort of kind of organization. I do know where things are that I use. It's just this stuff that I kind of forget I've got. So yeah, some Zymol Glossor there. Glossor? Glossor? I'm not sure. These are unused towels, but these are actually bought um, when we got the dog. They were sold as like puppy towels. Never been used. A sample of something, it says 17 on the lid. No idea. It will be, that's a Swiss Vax. I remember someone said it could be best of show. I'm not sure. Dodo Juice Ostentatious. Unopened, look, seal, still intact. So here we have, that's some 3M carbon fiber vinyl. Again, anyone who's uh, sort of known me on the forest for a long time, you may remember Project Jelly Bean. Lamb's wool duster, when you finish polishing. Uh, there we have rolls of window tint. I was gonna tint the windows on the layon. I'll keep all those, you never know when they come in. And this is another box that's made its way from the parents. So we've got a Mark III B for bonnet bra. 2012 diary. Bag of steel wool, keep that. 12 applicator pads, winner. <laughs> I remember being asked to do a, a polish on, I think of some Ginettas, and I bought some sort of wool pads. But as you can see, that's still sealed, never opened. I've got wool polishing pads. Ah, two of these from my first trip to America. I bought a, a what are these called, Brinkman's 
but it failed after like a couple of uses. They did send me another one and that also failed. I don't know if you've ever used these, but yeah. Not a bad little torch, so I might try and get that working again actually, so I'll pull that to one side, I'll leave that in here. Right, so we'll just take a little break for a moment. I've had a few packages sent to me um, over the last couple of days. First one is, this big boy, called a big boy. Uh, this is a big boy blower pro, um, been sent to me from the guys at Ultimate Finish. Uh, we'll take a quick look at that in a moment, I might actually test it and set the sweeping out here, just blow it all out. And there'll be a review coming up on that shortly. This is also uh, from Ultimate Finish as well, a couple more big boys, so we've got the, can't remember the model names, there's still the blower, but that's the blower pro, that's the, I think that's just called the blower, and then the blower mini, uh, I think it's called, so I've got all three of the blower range, I'll be testing them all out, I'm just going to leave them in the box, I had to open that too, and then this, I think, I know who this is from, so this is from, yeah, from uh, Richard at Detail Ice, and it's some work stuff, stuff, Ah, cool. So it was going to send me um, some brushes to test out. Um, so yeah, he sent me so yeah, a few brushes. Um, got the irregular style one there. Well, two actually, and they do feel alright. Uh, they're just general all purpose brushes from the PM he sent me. The black one, again, I'm not sure, it's probably 20mm, is it? Um, I think some of that was external, quite aggressive chemicals, good for wheels and engines. And then the albino or albino one. Um, again, chemical resistant is told me I had a quick look on the website and he suggested this is for the internals. Um, so interiors, should I say. It's also, like I said, I wasn't expecting any of this as well. A new tire applicator, which is great. I just use cut up sponges. I've used these in the past, but I had like a lot of auto glim sets given me one Christmas. And the sponges have just lasted forever. And it looks like a gentleman edgeless detailing microfiber. So I'm not open it yet, let's have a quick look. Ooh, nice. It's embroidered as well, it says work stuff, if you can see that. So that's quite nice. Um, it's throwing off a bit of lint, it probably just needs a quick wash or rinse before uh, using that. Feels really nice actually. See, so yeah, I guess one thing with them being sent out, um, again, thanks Richard for sending these. I have received these free of charge just for an honest review. I'm not being paid to say anything about them and I can't really comment yet, as I say, this is more of a garage cleanup, but yeah, I'll not forget I've got these, um, yeah, I, I owe someone a favour basically, and we'll just take this, open this one as well, ah, right, so this, I'll have a look on the website, see what it says about this, this is a microfiber wash mate, I, I'll be honest with you, I've never used microfiber um, wash, mitt. obviously the, the noodle mitts for wheels and quite dirty work, um, I've always, always used lamb's wool mitts, um, so that's quite nice, Definitely give that a try and see how that compares to using a lamb's helmet. So yeah, again, thanks Rich. Um, I do like the look of them, just, you know, initial comments. I've seen people using these on Instagram and whatnot, and they've, I don't know, the, the branding looks different to your usual. Thanks Rich. Right, so with that bit out of the way, is there anything else I can get rid of? Let's have a look. Uh, different, Snow foams, I've been testing again, no bottle tops for these, that can just be thrown. So yeah, if you're wondering what this is, that table, it's just something I had to mock up to basically rest something on a few weeks ago. It's coming quite handy actually, and that there is basically an old spool, um, basically it had Cat 6 cable on it. So I'm just going to coat it in Danish oil or something like that, put some caster wheels on it, and I'll probably make a decent stool to roll around on. Right, so I'm just gonna put you guys back on the tripod now and yeah, clear the rest of this crap up and get it to the skip. Right, so that's um, all of this cleared out. Uh, let's have a quick look. So down there we've got the chair, um, got a few brackets, as you can see. Um, like I said, they're the big boy things there, the uh, work stuff and more big boy blowers. Empty box and mitts and towels. God, listen to that wind. Um, current detailing boxes. Uh, more detailing helmet. All that's being used. As I say, I've got all this. Why is there five, eight bottles of oil? And then 
trays. That paint tray's been there like since we moved in five years. So yeah, all this, I'm gonna do this another day when I get my shelves up. Um, their products, all five litre bulk auto smart stuff at the back. Pump sprayers and then a few things that I've had to test recently. All that is, again, uh, they were from work, all that. They were from many moons ago. One of the first Detailing World products I uh, reviewed, or I'm part of the review team. They can go. Forgot about them. Let's put them there. And then the last bit I need to tidy. God, that light's bright. Is that now? It's just bags of rock salt and one, two, three old batteries. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. As I say, it's it's horrendous. Um, I know a lot of you are probably cringing watching this. So yeah, sorry. Um, but I've got the van loaded up of rubbish. Get rid of it a lot. Straighten this back up. It not look much different for the next couple of weeks. Um, and hopefully I do a part two. I'll probably give the walls a quick go over um, with some white paint. And so I don't really want to spend too much money or time and effort on this because I do want to replace the garage. Speaking of which, um, if anyone wants to send me a new garage, amazing. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for today. I'm gonna have a play around with these big boy blowers later on, but I'm in a rush to empty the van and I've got to take the dog a walk and do all the family stuff. Actually, no, that's not quite the end of the video just yet. Um, I've got rid of all the rubbish now that's been taken to the skip, just taking the dog a quick walk as well. Um, so while she gets the dinner ready, I'm going to try and straighten all this back up. I am going to quickly test that big boy blower out in here, so we'll have a look at that now, and I'll get back to you in just one second. Right, so as I mentioned earlier, um, yeah, just got the garage floor to sweep out and well, we'll give this a try. Right, so the Pro One has got two motors, um, and so I'll do another video on this, um, going over the specs, but this has got two motors and each motor is controlled individually so you can do half speed and full speed on both so that's four speeds basically and i think off the top of my head as i said i'll do a um, an actual video on this i think the speed ranges the wind speed ranges from i think 45 miles an hour to about 170 odd <laughs> right half speed one motor so this will be the slowest We'll now go full speed on both motors. That's fast. Um, certainly more fun than sweeping it out, but now I've got to sweep out the garden out of there, so yeah. Um, that's it for this video then. Definitely it will be back for, well, another part shortly. Ah, that's what I was going to speak to you about. One second. Right, so yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. As I said earlier, I'm going to get it some sort of spruce up in here. So all these shells, which are all manky, I mean, 
How has that not fell down? I have no idea. Yes, one idea I did have, I was gonna go with expanding foam between the roof and the walls along these. I don't know if that's gonna work, let me know below. Um, and I'm probably just gonna paint the walls white or a very light shade of gray. Um, the idea was, because of the layout, um, I can't really get a car in here because I've got big gates and I have to take them off the hinges to get the car in. So, this was always going to be some sort of like video studio. I'd like it to be a green screen sort of setup really in here. Um, hence the white or grey walls, um, off white. But yeah, leave your comments below and just ideas really. I think I might do something with that back wall. It's horrendous, I don't know how all the paint's going to hold up. Um, I may try and move this unit across or something. I've got, like I said, I'm going to put a shelf up. I'm going to put a shelf up across there. All this is temporary until, like I said, we either get a, a new brick built garage or another prefab like this. And I'm also going to get some metal shelving storage units, I think, from uh, B&Q or somewhere. But yeah, floor, I think I'm just going to leave. It's just a concrete base because, as I said, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with this in the future. A roof, there's not much I can do with that. I have tried sealing it in the past. It does stop a lot of leaks, um, but it does. there's a couple that seems to come in. But anyway, yeah. So yeah, leave the comments below um, what you think I should do, if this was yours. Like I say, it's not ideal, but this is real life. Um, I've not got endless amounts of cash lying around, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, if this was your garage, what would you do? For reference, it's about 19 foot long by nine foot wide. And it's probably about six and a half foot tall. Uh, pictures down at the back there. Also, can I not help with this? The garage, when we had some work done the other year, the people who was doing the work, I told them they could use the garage, but they have knackered, knackered the handle. So when you open it fully, these bars here, you can see that, that comes out and oh, it's a nightmare. It really is. Like I said, real life this is, you know, it's not all glamour. Um, yeah, let me know below what you would do. Would you paint these walls a different colour than white? Um, yeah. And, oh yeah, and uh, any recommendations on sort of shelving units, um, storage, I need, obviously I've only got this one thing here, which I'm going to tidy up for all the cloths and towels. At the moment they just go in a bag, um, or as I've seen earlier, they're in some boxes as well. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, so thanks very much for watching this. If you're not subscribed already, then please do consider subscribing and smash that like button if you've enjoyed it. We will get back to usual detailing footage next week. Uh, this has just been something a bit different whilst the weather's been a bit rubbish and, well, let's be honest, it needed doing. Hopefully it looks a bit better already. Uh, let's take a step back. It's not amazing, but it was never gonna be. It just needed tidying up a bit, and then I think next weekend, maybe tomorrow or next weekend, I'll spend a bit of time sorting out all the products, but that may just wait until I've actually got the shelving situation sorted first. What's the point sorting it when there's no way to sort them to? So yeah, we'll see you in the next video.